Welcome back. Some nervousness in the markets. We're down 80 points odd, but par for the course, one would say, because of the breadth of the market is still in favor of the number of stocks that are advancing. Good time to get in Nimesh, though. Nimesh, tell us, what are you picking up in terms of D-Street action? Well, Nigel, you know, for second day running, uh, it looks like it's it's what happened yesterday as well. Uh, the, there is pressure in the large cap names, the nifty names, so to speak. And at the same time, uh, the, the, the broader markets are well bid by institutions. So the flow seems to be moving back to the broader market in mid-cap and small-cap stocks. For, at, at least that's the feedback that I'm picking up for the last couple of days, and that's the case today as well. Uh, again, you know, uh, there's going to be, uh, th there is small buying again, which has come back into the PSU names as well. So within the la within the large cap names is the PSUs, it seems to be a bit well bid. I think from a sector point of view, autos are a bit under pressure, it looks like a bit of profit booking, and say so is the case with IT as well, on the back of what we saw on NASDAQ last night. But again, you know, broadly the, the feedback is, the volumes are on the low side. The, the retail participation has slowed down a lot oh. in the last many days is what is my sense is. And from an FI perspective, it's sell large caps and buy into the mid and small caps. Oh, all right. Interesting. What yeah. about individual stocks, Nimesh? Well, so in terms of individual names, the first stock is uh, Ajmera Realty. A big move in the last couple of days. In fact, this week, the stock is up more than 25% and large volumes as well. Uh, I, I, I understand the company is likely to raise funds from some influential investors who have preferential issue. The board meeting is scheduled for 18. So... That's something to, something to track in Ajmera Realty. The second name is HPCL. You know, the OMC pack did well in the morning, but within that, HPCL stands out on back of very strong buy flow. So within the three OMCs, it's the HP, HPCL, which is well bid for the last couple of days, and that stands today as well. The third is a couple of crude plays, both Interglobe Aviation and Asian Paints. Both have seen delivery based buying uh, in today's market, uh, and, and, and they're slightly buzzing as well. So again, you know, looks like more of a proxy play to the uh, to the falling crude prices. And the last is persistent. The stock is under pressure. The entire IT is under pressure today. But persistence stands out in, in in terms of buying flows. So looks like at lower levels there is buying, and especially some long-only funds seem to be quite active buyers in persistent at these levels. Okay, thank you very much uh, for that. Uh, those are some.